For the first time this year, students in Newark are back in the classroom. Since returning from the holiday break, schools citywide have been remote in an effort to combat the explosion of COVID cases in the state's largest city. That spike appears to be easing, according to Mayor Ros Baraka, who himself tested positive before Christmas. We've had a little good news that our numbers are starting to decline as we continue to go down. We pray that this is the end we're seeing. Despite a slight decline citywide, the positivity rate remains at around 28 percent, down from 39 percent the week before. While some had their reservations on returning to the classroom, Newark Teachers Union President John Abigon says his members, who currently boast a 95 percent vaccination rate, believe the worst is now behind them. In certain schools, we did see spikes, and if it had not been for the winter break, there would have been certain schools in Newark that would have had to have shut down completely. One of the biggest obstacles for the state's largest district, Abigon says, to get more parents to sign parental consent forms to have their children tested at school. Before we send your child home, just because he has the sniffles, we don't want everyone freaking out in the building. We can just do a quick test on the child, determine that it's just the sniffles. Newark is among a number of districts returning to the classroom this week. Currently, 20% of the state's school districts are on a remote schedule. Patterson among them. Officials there cited concerns over its community infection rate. I know they've extended to January 24th, but we're hoping that by January 24th, they'll be back in the classroom and no more learning loss. Since schools here in New Jersey report their cases a week behind the regular state update, we won't know what the impact of this week's return will have until a week from now, giving officials an idea of whether or not a surge is on the horizon.